top 30 scary ghost videos caught on camera. Intense activity. Have you ever been alone in a house at night and strange things just begun to happen, making you wonder just what had taken place here in the past? Well, a man living by himself suddenly went through the same thing after noticing some minor strange events occurring in his home, like the lights on the ceiling swinging by themselves. However, one night this activity became too intense and it all started with a single banging noise that made him get his phone out and start recording as he mustered the courage to go and investigate. Watch closely. What the f As he slowly advances through the house, the lights are swinging above, and as he gets to the kitchen, the activity becomes intense as all objects start falling off everywhere, and that's when he reaches his limit and decides to just get out of there. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the original source, so I don't know what happened afterwards, but hopefully he moved houses and wasn't followed. Haunted. The next video comes from the YouTube channel J Will Rib. No context or information is provided for the video except for what we can see, which is a man walking around in an empty house that appears to be haunted. The building gives off a creepy atmosphere and mysterious noises can be heard as well as some paranormal activity. See for yourself.
As he wanders through the empty building, a strange noise seems to surround the building. And at one point, something slams a door shut right next to him. Whoa. 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 But when he goes to check, he finds nothing there. So, did this man enter a haunted house? Or can this be explained? Let me know. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at depthsofdespair01 at gmail.com. Shadow Within. The next video comes from Jojo Owens, who says that every now and then a member of his family, including himself, has managed to catch a glimpse of something or someone moving through the back room when there is no one there. And so one night, Jojo started recording after hearing a sound when he was the only person awake. He then captured something terrifying walking across the room and quickly got up to check it out. A shadow figure walks across from left to right, but when Jojo goes over to check it out, he finds nothing there. Could this be a real shadow figure? The atmosphere and the look of the house does look like the kind that would harbour such an entity. Hopefully we get more updates on the situation soon. Tormented Dog YouTuber Hoopla22 recently uploaded a strange and creepy video. He says that I used to be a non-believer till now or last night. Thought my buddy Derek was pulling a prank on me like he always does. So I tried to record in an attempt to catch him in the act. I was on the toilet when it happened and I heard Nala barking like crazy, which made me think he was in the house. I was so wrong. Nala and I are staying at my parents' house for now. She is okay, but her little trembles have not gone away ever since that night. Needless to say, what Hoopla captured terrified both him and his dog Nala. Take a look. Nala! Nala? Derek?
Nala, come on out. Nala, come on out, seriously. Derek? Nala, where'd you go, princess? Nala? Baby! No! What's wrong, Angel? Who do I love? Who do I love, pretty girl? seen her get that scared. Derek? Derek, that you? Let's go. Come on, come on, baby. As he searches the house, he finds his dog Nala hiding in a room while trembling in fear. He then hears something coming from the kitchen, which causes him to panic and command his dog to get up so they can leave, thinking there may be an intruder inside his house and not his friend Derek. But suddenly, the door to their room slams shut, leaving Hoopla stunned with fear. He has been staying at his parents' house ever since, but Nala has not stopped shaking till this day. Hopefully, she'll go back to normal soon. I do think this could be a genuine paranormal experience, especially judging by the whimpering sounds Nala was making. But once again, the judgement is yours. Light in the Woods TikTok user MrFender76 has a whole page based on cars, family life and work projects. Nothing to do with the paranormal. However, he recently purchased a 2002 Nissan Xterra and decided to install some LED reverse lights on it. And one of his viewers requested that he test it out and show the performance of the lights. And so Mr. Fender decided to head into the woods to showcase his new installation, but managed to capture something absolutely terrifying instead. The lights are definitely functional, but unfortunately I live in a city and there are street lights everywhere. But I can find a place to go test them. Okay, I found some really dark woods. I just put some tin foil over the reverse lights. So I'm going to show you what the stock reverse lights look like and then I'm going to uncover them and show you what the added reverse lights look like. These are the stock reverse lights. Literally can't see anything. And these are the ones I just installed. Look how friggin' bright that is. This is amazing. Yeah, so these are not just for looks. After the car lights turn on, a creepy looking hand can be seen just sliding back 
around the tree and into the darkness. Mr. Fender then decided to come back here during the day to take a look. Okay, this road goes down to the lake, which is right there in a public boat landing. This is where my truck was backed in. Well, it's actually a path, and that is the tree with the stick leaned up against it. As you can see, people illegally dump stuff out here all the time, mostly trash, but a lot of animal carcasses too. And this is the tree. And here we are behind the tree. It's where my exterior was back in. I'm about 5'10". I'm not a very superstitious person, so you're not gonna get much out of me. I just think, you know, if anything, you know, somebody back here. A creepy hand behind a tree in the complete darkness of the night. And he still thinks it was just a person. To be honest, that would be the scariest possibility anyway. What do you think? Ghost or a person or something else? Let me know down below. Humanoid Woods An Indonesian YouTuber by the name Wak Ringa usually likes to explore supposedly haunted locations around the country that are recommended to him by his viewers. And for a while now they have been requesting that he go and explore a particular forest in Indonesia. A forest that many locals claimed they had seen humanoid creatures within. And so, upon his arrival, he decided to turn on his live stream. And as he makes his way through the woods, not much happens for the most part of it. Until he captures something terrifying. Kalian dengar sesuatu? Kalian dengar suara? Kalian dengar suara dan mereka? Mereka seperti mengikuti di belakang gua, teman-teman. Ya, 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 gue dengar suara. Gue dengar suara, teman-teman. Dan arahnya di daerah, arahnya di daerah sini. Astagfirullah. Ah! While traveling through the forest, he encounters some humanoid creatures, and just moments later, one of them charges towards him while making a creepy sound. He instantly runs away and doesn't return. Now, are these real humanoid creatures or not? You judge. The Hospital Patient This next video comes from the TikTok user Noah.vq who works as a security guard and does the night shifts for an abandoned hospital building that is soon scheduled to be demolished. He usually patrols the corridors and checks to make sure that nobody is trespassing on the premises but often finds himself getting startled by sudden sounds and strange occurrences that he just can't explain. On one particular night, the hospital alarm goes off, so he goes over to investigate the cause of the alarm, but captures something creepy instead. Right, besides that alarm, I just heard some more sounds. I don't know what it is, man, but this place is creepy. A hospital bed just comes sliding around a corner on its own, freaking Noah out. However, he can't just up and leave as he must fulfill his duty as a security guard. But later in the night, he hears something again and goes over to check, this time inspecting each room as he walks by to ensure they are all empty. And that's when he captures this. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and look over here. 
checking the rooms and Dude, f shit, honestly, like. Yeah, f this shit. This time, something else comes sliding down the hallway and crashes into the wall. Dude, f this shit, honestly, like. Now, for the next few weeks. Not much really happens until one day the creepy noises return. This time, when he goes to investigate, he captures something absolutely chilling. Alright guys, I'm at the empty floors. I was hearing some noise coming up right now. It's kind of freaking me out, so I'm going to be filming a little bit. Seeing some Walking past each room, Noah captures what looks like a terrifying black shadow figure just standing there over by the window inside one of the rooms. But when he turns back a few seconds after to check again, there's nothing there. So is this a real shadow figure inside a haunted hospital building? Or is it all just a simple ruse? The judgement is yours. Phantom noise. The next sequence of videos comes from the TikTok page Follow Peter Nash. Peter Nash live in a secluded area surrounded by the woods, somewhere in mid Michigan, US. Now, strange and creepy occurrences aren't rare when it comes to the woods, but one day when Pete was outside in the woods, he heard a creepy noise and couldn't figure out what was the cause. Later on that noise quickly returned and grew louder until it became too scary to ignore. Okay, Let's see if I can actually capture some of this but not walking the back of our property and hearing this weird ass noise. It's like I don't know, like some sort of and of course it stops right when I start the camera rolling. Something like weird it's like a bird call or something. That's Oh, the, I hope the camera picked that up. It was there. Yeah, that. I do not know what the heck that is. So weird. I don't know. Never heard a call like that before. A few days later, his wife hears it too and rushes over to try and catch it on camera. The phantom noise seems to pique their curiosity, with many people thinking it's possibly a coyote or a fox. So they decide to go on a hunt deep into the woods to find out what this could be. And that's when things start to get really terrifying. Keep I you don't updated. hear anything yet. No, I haven't heard anything yet either. I'm oh, trying to get a little bit of shelter <laughs> from the rain. Just a smattering of rain, but it looks like we have found no phantom noise, but Possibly a beaver? A woodchuck? Do woodchucks actually eat Woodchucks wood? chuck wood. They, ch they chuck wood. There you go. So uh, but so far we have... <laughs> so... Alright, we went towards the noise. Uh, we haven't really heard much anything since... That was louder. It sounds like it's more than one. That was louder than I've heard it before. Um, haven't... No, seriously, Peter, it sounds like it's coming towards us. I, no, it's, it's, we're gonna be okay. It's just, it's,
A few days later, not much really happens, and Pete decides to set up some trail cams in the woods, and Ashley goes away to Miami for the weekend, leaving Pete at home by himself, and that's when he hears the same sound closer to his house. Sounds like it's in the front yard. Just... There's nothing out here. Okay. Happens almost every night now. Knocks on the windows and the doors. And by the time I get there, there's nothing there. Every night. He then decides to check the trail cam. And that's when we can see something moving through the woods. A few days later, his wife arrives back. And later that night, they are woken up to something terrifying that seems to be at the door. Oh my God, no, 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 just stay upstairs, okay, Ash? No, stay upstairs. I'm scared. Stopped. Babe, do you see anything? No, I don't know. No, I don't see anything. Babe, it sounds like it's on the porch. I know. I know it sounded right, like it was right outside. No, just, just stay up there. Please come down. Do you see anything? I don't know, it doesn't look like it. Oh my god, here! Okay, no, no. Well, no, I made sure. Make sure the door is locked. What's the, what, what, what did you see? I don't know, they did didn't see, see anything. I didn't well, see anything out there. I mean, what the fuck was that? After being woken up so frequently, he gets brave enough to go out into the woods at night to confront this entity, but he soon realizes this was a mistake. A pair of glowing eyes can be seen staring at him from the trees in the distance, and the creepy noise appears louder and closer than ever, so he decides to run back to his house. Some of the viewers in the comments have claimed to hear similar sounds, and think it could be a bobcat, or a skinwalker, but I think it's most likely an ARG or a film project, however, the woods are a creepy place nonetheless, and we never know what could be out there. Check out Follow Peter Nash on TikTok to see more, as this is ongoing. In the trees. The next video comes from TikTok user Christina Robinson. Now Christina and her family lived in a secluded area surrounded by a small forest somewhere in Greensboro, North Carolina, and they have been experiencing many creepy and unexplainable events. She quotes, something invisible and big was bouncing from tree to tree, and this is what she captured. Ow. 
don't see anything. What the heck? It's like there's something up there. Oh shit, no one's close eyes, come on. Shane, come here, Shane, come here, Shane, come here. No. No. At first, it sounds as if something is moving up in the trees like when you're walking through a field and you brush the bushes out of the way. And then suddenly, we hear something big snapping the branches until the whole tree comes crashing down to the ground. But when they pan the camera around, there is no sign of anything up in the trees or on the ground. And Christina said that they can clearly see the ground area and nothing is ever there when these strange events occur. Some people believe the area around the house used to be native burial grounds, which is the cause for the tree phenomenon. But it's hard to say, the trees do look healthy as well, which makes it even more odd. Be sure to leave your opinion on this one down below. In the sewers A man had been hearing creepy noises emanating from within a nearby sewer tunnel. Fed up with the sounds disturbing his peace, he decided to grab a camera and take a look for himself just what is in these sewers. What he captures is absolutely terrifying. I'm coming up on the tunnel right now. I'm hearing the noises inside the tunnel and Hello? I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I just... I just... <laughs> now this man is either really brave or really fake. Because to go in a sewer alone when there is noises like this... <laughs> ...is enough to leave almost anyone in the depths of despair. So is this a real rake-like humanoid creature, or just an internet facade? You be the judge. I don't want to hurt you. 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 I just. I just can't, can't, can't. 11 p.m. at night. This next video comes from the TikTok user Rain, and as you can see, he doesn't have any videos related to the paranormal, 
or any other creepy stuff on his channel except for this one video. One night Rain was on his way back home, late at night around 11pm, and after arriving at the train station, there was nobody else in sight besides himself and what he captured. Someone explain. What is that? Look at this. Oh my god. Is that a person bro or what? Huh? That is mud. Look at that bro. Is it a ghost son? I don't know what to say, you know. It's mud. That is actually mud, bro. That is different. Have you seen that, bro? Nah, 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 nah. My God is grey. <laughs> My God is actually grey. I don't know how I'm gonna. Bro, no one's here, bro. It's just, it's just that. Nah, man. <laughs> pray for the kid, man. Make sure you pray for me right now. What looks like a creepy dark figure can be seen just standing at the corner on the other side of the platform, just watching him. I'm not sure if this is paranormal, or if it's just a creepy person standing there. It could also be a case of pareidolia, and maybe it's just a lost jacket hanging there. What do you guys think? If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at depthsofdespair01 at gmail.com. Exorcism. Just what happened here? Did they capture a demon or a witch in disguise? Find out now. The next video comes from the YouTube channel The Dark Dimension, however the original source is unknown and description or location was not provided for the video. The only thing mentioned is that this is an exorcism. At the start of the video we can see someone hand the girl a drink, which then causes a disturbing reaction from the girl. We later find out that the liquid was holy water, and after drinking it, something evil seems to be manifesting from within the girl. Watch carefully. How do you, you? Not calm, not calm. Perci, perci. No.
Wyjaśni podniecie. before the exorcism was fully complete, so we don't know what the final outcome was. However, it did look as though she was calming down towards the end, so maybe they did manage to expel whatever evil entity was residing within her. I must say this footage seems very real and convincing. Let me know what you think and if you have ever experienced something similar yourself. Gone missing. It is said that in a town somewhere in Argentina, two girls mysteriously went missing. 
Now, close friends of the missing girls commented that they were going to do an urban exploration and take matters into their own hands in an attempt to locate their missing friends. Their exploration led them to an abandoned house where they managed to recover one of the missing girls' video cameras. However, there was no other trace of the missing girls. And in the building, they also found a Ouija board. And you can probably guess they started to play with it. In a building that is already dark, abandoned and haunted. What else could go wrong? So obviously, things took a turn for the worse. Take a look. Pará, ¿y si hay alguien adentro? Ahora, hace como 10 años que está abandonada esta casa. Sí, ya sé, pero puede haber igual alguien. Mira, escúchame. Primero, filma bien. Segundo, vamos, entramos, vemos. Y si hay alguien, nos vamos a jugar a otro lado y ya está. ¿Vale? Bueno, pero vos adelante. Y ahora, ¿qué hacemos? Mira, mala suerte, Mica. Volvamos a mi casa que en cualquier momento llega mi papá. No, Laura, no. Si no hacemos acá, lo hacemos en otra parte. ¡Ay, no! ¡Mica, por favor, vámonos! No, no me jodas, no, no. Laura. Vení, dale. Vení. No seas tarada, Laura, entra en la casa. ¿Qué buscas? La luz. Era obvio que no iban a salir la luz. Bueno, no perdía nada a comprobar. Vení, vení, filma esto. Mica. Vení, Mica, volví, Mica. Mira. Sucho, mierda. Mira lo que es esto. Mi amor, quiero volver, Mica. Vamos a filmar. Vení, Laura. Quiero volver. No. Mira el techo. Todo caído. ¡La puta madre! ¡Ay, por favor! ¡Quiero volver! ¡Por favor! Laura, ¿te puedes tranquilizar? ¿Te puedes tranquilizar? ¿Te puedes la puerta abierta? ¿Se habrá volado algo? Quédate tranquila. Ya pasó no nada. Ya. Pásame las cosas y alumbrame, que hoy me prendo todo. Voy a limpiarla. ¿Y si llegara a pasar algo? No, nunca me pasa nada. Pásame la linterna. ¿Empezamos? Para, para. Toma la linterna y pásame la cámara. Estoy tomando cualquier cosa. Dale, pon el dedo y concéntrate. Bueno. ¿Hay alguna entidad presente? ¿Algún ente quiere manifestarse a través del tablero? ¡Deja de moverlo, Micaela! No soy yo, tarada. ¡Pero lo estás moviendo vos! ¿Podrá dar alguna señal para que Laura me crea? Seguro que es el viento. Que sea algo más adelante. ¿Podría dar alguna señal más notoria? ¡Ah! ¡La concha de tu madre! ¿El bueno o malo? No preguntes esas cosas, ¿crees que se enoje, imbécil? ¡Ah! ¡Ay, no, por favor, me quiero volver! ¡No, no pará, no, Laura, cállate, no. cállate, no! ¡Calmate un poco! ¡Ah!
They start playing with a Ouija board and just moments after their hands start moving faster and then a female figure appears in front of them which is when they reach their limit of terror and try to escape the building. However, the door behind them was now locked and the lights begun to flicker. Unfortunately, the video ended abruptly so we don't know what happens afterwards. I wonder if they made it out safely or not. Their reactions did seem pretty real and I know the Ouija board can cause some serious stuff so I'm not sure what to believe on this one. I'll let you decide. Siren or Mermaid The next sequence of videos comes from the TikTok page Source90 and Source90 is a fisherman who operates off the coastline of New Bedford, Massachusetts and during a live stream at night he captured what sounds like a siren or mermaid somewhere in the ocean Hello us 90 and we just out here we're chilling we're out here chilling I hear it I hear him where's she at? What the fuck is that noise, bro? What is that noise? Where are you? The voice seems to echo from the ocean, making it hard to pinpoint the location. But things get weirder and weirder as time goes on. This is crazy. I heard it. I heard it. I hear it. Oh my god. That's crazy. That's not. voice that vaguely sounds like it says jump for me more than once and can be heard again later on during the live stream. That's crazy. pointed out that as we hear it say jump for me, we can see a light in the water towards the left briefly before he pans the camera away. And at first they thought the singing and wailing sounds were just coming from dolphins or orcas, but as time went on things got even more bizarre and at one point something seems to be knocking on the outside of his boat right where his bunk bed is and then he catches something in the water. So I went out on deck to see what it was. 
Yo, what is that? What the fuck is that? At one point, he tries to communicate with the mermaid or siren and gets an instant response, which further made him believe he's not dealing with any dolphins. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yo, that shit was instantaneous, bro. Oh, I gotta watch my step out here, man. God damn. Things get truly strange when one night he tries to go live and then his live got stopped after receiving this message supposedly for community guideline violations and commenters were even saying that they were watching the live and TikTok kept asking them to report Source90 for no apparent reason. Shortly after this, the government turns up on his boat. Watch closely. Let's check out these mouth. You're gonna be out here doing testing. Testing what? What the fuck are you guys testing? That's what I wanna know. We all know Source 90 has heard certain things out in the ocean and then my TikTok gets banned and then the government shows up my boat. It's too many fucking coincidences. Ever since this, Source 90 hasn't uploaded any new videos regarding the mermaid or siren that he has heard in the ocean. So perhaps the government was really conducting some suspicious activity in the area and forced Source 90 to stop what he was doing because he may have been getting close to revealing something we have yet to see. Many viewers think this was a siren attempting to lure the man to his death by trying to get him to jump into the ocean as it is said that sirens could even charm the winds whereas others think this was a mermaid trying to warn him of something unforeseen. What do you think? Siren or mermaid or something else entirely Beyond the fence The next video comes from the YouTube channel Shane Contreras and the description reads For the past four years we have lived in this house on the outskirts of Sheffield UK We first heard the noise while we were in the playground late at night and we soon realized it wasn't just the one night. We decided to check at daytime and there was an old junkyard beyond the fence. One night I was walking my dog in the area before bed and I heard the sounds louder than ever. So I decided to record. What he managed to record is truly terrifying. What in the fuck is that? Shit. Whatever is this coming right for us? Shit. What the fuck? Is that
understand what it is. Okay. I think I've had enough scare for the night. I don't really feel safe here. Quite exposed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut this one and head home. Come on back. Come on. Oh Jesus! What the hell is that thing? Yeah, definite skinwalker potential here. Come on, Mac, let's go. Come on. Come on, Mac. Mac, let's go. Let's go. Come on. I do not feel safe near that fence. Not at all. Mac, come on. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Do not know what that is. He goes up to the fence and some strange noises can be heard, but it isn't until he walks away and decides to leave that we hear the truly terrifying howl, which would scare nearly anyone away, especially if they saw the creature that made it. Oh Jesus, what the hell is that thing? The Rake The next video comes from the YouTube channel Live Birabidjan, who doesn't usually post creepy videos except for this one. In the video, a group of Russians heard reports from locals of strange noises that can be heard near a set of abandoned workshops. And so, they decided to go and explore this area for themselves to confirm whether these reports were true or not and what they managed to capture as a result is undeniably terrifying. They hear a terrifying howling sound as they get closer. Thinking they got spotted, they both decide to get out of there. However, a few days later they decide to return once again, determined to catch a glimpse of this creature. Ай? 
размером снимаю аккуратно. Тихо. Ты заснял? Я ее не видно все равно. Тихо, лево, лево проходим. Проходим лево, лево. Твою мать! Тихо, 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 тихо. Вижу, вижу. After hearing such horrifying sounds, they decided to venture deeper and get closer to the source, until they eventually catch a glimpse of a strange humanoid creature standing behind a pillar in the darkness. But for some reason the video cuts short, so we don't know what happened next, but I'm guessing they left the vicinity. The only question is, just what did they see? A ghost. This video comes from the YouTube channel NE Vault and this video was originally posted in 2007 and shows a man who was recording some footage of his dogs at home and he decided to take them outside. So he sat the camera down as he got ready and what he managed to capture is quite creepy. What are you doing? That's my sock. I got my sock. Grab it. You guys want to go pee pee? It's very faint, but just moments after he goes off with the two dogs, we can see a vague mist or shadow enter the dark room. Then the picture frame starts to shake just moments after. The only strange thing is that we can also see a small shadow in the bottom right corner, so someone could just be standing there making the picture frame move. However, I'm not sure. You can judge. It gallops. The first video that we are going to take a look at comes from TikTok. However, the original source to the video wasn't provided, but the man in the footage is clearly stressed out by some entity that sounds like it's been haunting him and disturbing his peace for quite some time. And after recording, he manages to capture this. Whoever's in here needs to leave. Like, I've had enough of it, and it's just getting worse. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Alright, you need to leave. I've had enough of your games. I'm tired of being played. This is so creepy. This is so creepy. My camera won't focus. There we go. 
As he walks around the house trying to get to the bottom of this haunting, he hears something charging down the hallway which sounds like a horse galloping. kind of strange that he didn't go down the hallway to investigate the rooms at the end, but at the same time he did seem genuinely scared and had goosebumps, so then again, maybe there is something creepy that resides in his home, hopefully there will be a part 2, tormented by shadows. This next video comes from the reddit user iamdua990 and the footage shows a rural family in Colombia which are being tormented by a shadow figure that resides on the first floor and basement of their home. The mum begins by saying it's one in the morning and they're bothering us like always and I wanted to record this time. She then wakes up her son who appears to be around 15 years old and she tells him the same thing, they're bothering us again. She then wakes up the others and asks one of the daughters to watch the baby and one of them replies, I can hear it too. When they get to the door she asks them to shh to hear the sounds coming from the basement. Then she opens the door and the boy says I don't want to go downstairs alone. So her and two of the sons go down together and what they see is something terrifying straight from the depths. I'm 
As they go down to the end of the basement, a shadow figure can be seen in the corner, and as they get closer, it begins to rise up to monstrous heights, as if it was directly feeding off their fear up close to truly manifest. And then suddenly, the lights go off, which just makes the whole moment a lot worse. Luckily, they quickly ran back upstairs to the light, otherwise who knows what would have happened to them down there. I don't know about you guys, but the desperation and fear in all of their voices, along with their behaviour, seemed very genuine. So I think this one may be real, but let me know what you think. In the closet. The next video comes from the TikTok page Texas Ghost Hunters and was originally uploaded to YouTube by Jerry Bruce. In the video, Jerry captured some strange and creepy paranormal activity within his closet. Take a look. Jerry's doorknob seems to be continuously rattling and twisting from the inside, but when he goes to open it himself, it completely stops and there's nothing there inside that could be causing it. So just what is messing with the doorknob in such a small closet? They say ghosts do like dark and confined places. Maybe something is attached to the closet or an item within, or is it just a good hoax? You be the judge. And you can check out the Texas Ghost Hunters TikTok page for more creepy videos just like this. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at depthsofdespair01 at gmail.com. Demonic Possession In the next video, a man was staying at a hotel late at night in an unknown location, and he began to hear strange and terrifying noises when he was walking down the hallway to go back to his hotel room. And so, just like any other curious person, he decided to go and have a look at who or what was making these sounds, and what he saw shocked him to his core. As he entered the room, it was pitch black, but when he got closer to the bed, we can see what looked like a girl with long black hair, who just looked up and screamed as he approaches, to which 
he turned to run and the video ended abruptly so we will never know what happened afterwards. It did seem quite real apart from the final scream which kind of sounded edited but I'm not entirely sure so I'll leave it to you once again. the room and the child. As with most Mexican videos the original source is unknown but in the video a man seems to have something haunting a specific bedroom inside his house. Now the strange thing is he had a dream of meeting a boy and a girl at a hospital and they gave him a stuffed animal to help him heal but he believes that these two kids are now somehow attached to his home because of a lingering regret and as he tries to find out what's going on he captures something terrifying just waiting for him to go to bed Yo me llamo Jorge, esta es mi casa eres la niña que me dio el peluche en el hospital estás aquí conmigo eres esa niña El niña hermosa que me dio el peluche. ¿Estás aquí con nosotros, conmigo? Dios santo, no, no, no. no. Dios santo. Salí corriendo, pero es por mis hijos. Estás perdida. Ocupas algo, necesitas algo. Dime, si yo puedo ayudarte, con gusto lo haré. Ocupas algo. Sí, te escuché. Te escuché que ocupabas a tu mamá. No sé en qué más, no sé cómo. As he comes out to the little girl, we hear a strange response. No. And shortly after, I on board the plane. In this video a maintenance manager was investigating an empty plane at night in order to survey the plane in preparation to conduct some repairs but upon boarding the plane he finds something terrifying awaiting him inside. Watch closely. No mames. As the man walks towards one end of the plane, he hears something that makes him turn around. And as he gets closer, a shadow figure, or some creature, pokes its head out of the corner. In such a dark atmosphere and narrow space, he dared not to stay around and just ran out of there straight away. Unfortunately, it looks like we'll never know just what was lurking on this plane, but it seems like a lot of planes are haunted. Rake in the night. The next video comes from the TikTok user Isaiah Harris, who usually just uploads fun videos to TikTok. However, this time it was different, as he decided to go hiking one day with his cousin 
in the middle of the night. During their hiking trip, they heard some unexplainable sounds, and so Isaiah pulled his phone out and decided to record what they accidentally stumbled across and caught on camera was absolutely horrifying. Me and my cousin took a bridge. hike in the middle of the night. That means that we're close. And what we found was the most terrifying the thing anymore, I've but... ever witnessed. Dude. Just wait. Did you hear that? You didn't hear that. There's something under there. Bro. Dude, please don't go down there. Oh my gosh. Dude, hold on. Let me go first. Let me go first. After heading down to what looked like a small little tunnel entrance, we hear a terrifying screech, all the while a creature is revealed to be standing within the darkness of the tunnel. The creature looks to be very thin and naked with long limbs, as it stands all twisted in a strange position, and the sound it made was definitely not human. After the footage, Isaiah's viewers questioned him as to why the footage cut out so quickly right when things were getting intense. He then went on to explain that he was filming with Snapchat, so the time ran out. So let me just explain something. I actually film on three different apps at a time to film my videos. The reason being is because when I film on Snapchat, I actually can zoom in better and I have more of a customizable way of editing my videos because I edit on a different app than I do on TikTok. The second one is my camera and the reason being is because if I want to get a professional looking video, then I'll film on my camera app. But like right now, because I had to reply to that comment, I'm filming on TikTok. So yeah, there's three different kinds that I film on. But last night I was trying to film everything on Snapchat. So whenever I recorded, whatever I recorded, um, I wasn't going to just sit there and record it because I was running for my life, okay? And I'm not trying to be funny about this. Um, literally, I was puking. Like, I mean, opened his door mid-drive and vomited. I don't know if it was because I was genuinely terrified or if it was because I was running so much, but I, yeah, I, I did. But I did manage to screenshot what was under that bridge and enhance it for you guys, and I'll, I'll show you that. Yeah, um, let me just tell you, I've never been more terrified in my entire life. I can't even look at this picture right now. Before you guys saying that it was like a friend or like somebody else down there, it may have been a homeless guy. I, I heard that theory, but I do not know what he would have been doing down there, butt naked, maybe taking a bath, but just the sounds and everything about it just did not sit right with me. I even ended up showing my sister and she wants to go up there tonight this time, Isaiah decided to head back there and camp out for the night, this time with his friend. And as it gets late and dark out, they wander into the woods, hoping to catch the creature again. Take a look. Alright guys, so I've got this fire going for a little while. <laughs> it's about 10 o'clock, um, and as you can tell, it is dark out like the stars are out and everything right now so we're about to head out and we're gonna be looking for whatever's out there <laughs> all right so we're leaving camp now and we're about to go out and this is literally guys like how dark it is here same guys literally it's so creepy in this forest right now. Guys, look at the moon. It's so bright. <laughs> so what do you do when you're looking for a creature? Because <laughs> it's literally so quiet here. I've heard some like growls and grunts and stuff, but <laughs> nothing like what we heard that night. Okay, so we found a road. And now we're just trying to kind of just climb up this hill, see if we can get like a viewpoint because there's a big old hill right here.
<laughs> okay, that's actually kind of creepy. Look, hope he doesn't jump out to scare me. Brock, please don't scare me. Oh my god. So he's got this terrible lighting. And walk right. Oh my goodness. But we're literally trying to land the force real quick. We're just walking back right now. And like legit, I think we're lost because I don't have any idea where we're at. Do you know where we are? Dude. Oh hell no. Spooky. Okay, y'all, so we're back at camp. We didn't really get anything. We've been out here since like what we started looking at about 10 and it's already like 2.30. They thought they didn't, but it turns out they did catch something. Right when they were talking, they stopped and heard footsteps, but didn't see anything at the time. However, after enhancing the footage, we noticed that a creepy humanoid figure was lurking around in the woods. Could this be the same humanoid creature we saw earlier? Many viewers said it's a rake, while others said it was a homeless person. But just what would a homeless person be doing with no clothes in the middle of the woods? Let me know what you think. The Dark Hole TikTok user Zacharia underscore Owl 98 stumbled across a creepy hole that was covered up in the middle of the desert in an unknown location. As he approached the hole, he noticed some strange and creepy sounds, so he decided to uncover it and have a look what's down the dark hole. After uncovering the hole located in the middle of nowhere, some creepy moans and screams could be heard. Judging by the sounds, many viewers were quick to say it's a bunch of trapped cats. But just what and how would a bunch of cats be doing down there, unless someone threw them down there and covered the hole to hide it? Whereas some other viewers suggested that it is the air traveling through cavities in the earth, which does sound logical, but after enhancing the brightness, we can see what potentially looks like many pairs of glowing eyes lurking at the bottom of the dark hole, unless it is something else. But once again, the final judgment is yours. Haunted Night Shift this first video comes from the YouTube channel Raul Garcia. Raul was a security guard working the night shifts in an old store over in Louise Echeverria sometime in 2019. Working the night shifts can be quite scary in general, since that's when our mind likes to play tricks on us and pareidolia has the most effect. But sometimes, these experiences can be just as real. For Raoul, he began to experience some paranormal activity within the store that he just couldn't comprehend. So he did what most people would, and that was to record for proof. What he managed to capture is truly terrifying. Estar grabando completamente solito. Bueno, hay algunos escáner que estamos tomando a veces. Puse música porque me dio mucho miedo. <laughs> Se empezó a escuchar más y más ruidos ahí arriba. Quien me va a estar viendo ahorita, no manches. Bueno, es la evidencia. Lo que tengo que hacer es esto. 
está checando el escáner eso ya está al fondo Since Raoul is alone in the whole entire building and has already experienced creepy things before, he plays music very loudly and talks to the camera a lot to distract himself, although we can clearly see he is uncomfortable and we soon find out why. No sé si me estoy escuchando. Cabrón. Ahí está la primera cosa. No mames, no mames. No mames, no mames. Ya me dio miedo. Puta madre, mira. Está hecho un desastre aquí. O sea, parece como si se estuviera a punto de desmantelar todo este show. <risa> Nada más que hay que tener un poquito de pues, paciencia, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Escuchan un chorro de ruidos por aquí. <coughs> Bastante ruidos. Mira cómo está desmantelado todo, no manches. Oh. Bueno, así normalmente es. Casi toda la basura es de aquí, de Soriana. Todo lo que te... ¡No mames! ¿Qué pedo? ¿Qué pedo? Su puta madre. It seems this section of the building is being renovated and a lot of the activity seems to come from here. Maybe the source lies within this area. Raúl continues walking and eventually witnesses something truly chilling. ¿Qué tal, amigo? Un chorro de piedra cercano. Hola, amigo, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? No vengo a molestarte. A ver, vamos a acercarnos poquito. No, así me da quiz quiz. ¡Qué pedo! ¡No mames! ¡No tiene pilas! ¡No manches! Espero que esto sea... Si se esté grabando, no sé. Esa cosa mide como dos metros, no manches. ¿Qué pedo? ¿Qué pedo? No manches, no manches. ¿Cuándo vas a acabar? No manches, no manches. Ay, me miedo. Vámonos tantito mejor, no sé. At this point, Raúl is nervous from the chills and decides to leave. But just moments after, he musters up the courage to turn around and go back to inspect this Santa Claus to show his viewers. Si me muero. Ah, ¿cómo estás, Carla Vanessa Bolis? Rafa. Ya sé, ¿verdad? No manches, qué pedo. <laughs> Está horrible aquí, no manches, si huele bien feo. A ver, vamos a ver de qué se trata este amigo. Hola, Santa Claus. Hey. Mándale un saludo a mis amigos, por favor. Ay, no manches. Qué pedo, no está conectado, no manches. No manches, no manches. Qué pedo. No manches. Oh. <risa> Ay, qué pedo, qué pedo, no manches. ¿Estás bien? Ay, no manches. 
manches. Esto sí da un chorral de miedo, no manches. ¿Qué pedo con esto? No manches, ni siquiera está conectado, no manches. Oye, gordo, ¿estás bien? No sabes que ya mejor me voy. <ríe> Qué tontería estoy haciendo. <ríe> la verdad, la verdad es que... Uy. Vámonos de aquí. What makes this extremely creepy is that the mannequin rotated and slid towards him before falling over, as if deliberately trying to hit him. And then the Santa Claus wasn't functioning when he switched it on and off, and was completely disconnected from the back. So just how did it fall on its own? Oh. <laughs> Maybe a spirit was inhabiting this statue. On another night, while in the warehouse, Raul captures something terrifying once again. No quiero especular, pero es que cada vez esos, esos golpes, esos sonidos. Ay, cabrón, cabrón. Ay, no mames, no mames. Ay, cabrón. Ay, güey. Nada más el, el deber ser, porque pues, si queremos nosotros hacer bien nuestro trabajo, pues obviamente tenemos que ver. As he is about to pan the camera to the right and walk away, a black shadow figure reveals itself from behind the corner for just an instant before moving out of frame. With all the events that occurred, it's hard to write this one off as a hoax, since there was some compelling evidence. Raúl believes that the spirit manifested here was that of a little boy, so maybe this spirit was inhabiting the Santa Claus, just like how a normal kid would cling to Santa. He also only posted a few videos and was clearly getting a lot of engagement and subscribers, so it would have been easy for him to continue posting if he was just after the views, but something tells me otherwise. Let me know what you think. Entities attached. In this next video, a man made a grave mistake by doing something that none of us should ever try. Alberto is a young man who was tired of receiving financial support from his parents, and so he fought to attempt the unthinkable. That is, he decided to make contact with the paranormal world in order to try and get rich and famous for a pact with a demon. However, he did not get the results he expected. Instead, very strange and bizarre things began to occur around his home and his life situation. He even started to feel sick, but luckily, he got better within a few weeks. These strange events, however, eventually grew to the point where he could see shadow people walking around his house and voices calling him, as well as some objects moving around on their own. One night, he makes a video walking around his house explaining his situation and he captures true terror everywhere. Estaba aquí en mi casa, pues descansando, ya saben que yo no me duermo temprano y se están escuchando ruidos en en la cocina estaba viendo yo la televisión pero pues ya llevo un rato me da miedo ir a asomarme porque he heard a noise coming from the kitchen so he decided to record but didn't manage to capture anything however on his way back to his room he captured something sinister behind him a shadow figure, as well as something that looked like a young woman. After talking with some people, he decided to try and contact the creature for a paranormal game aimed to make the spirit show itself again. But as he walks around the house later on, it appears this terrifying figure is already waiting for him. Me pongo mucha 
que encienden alguno de los dos teléfonos Ya que está difícil ir grabando y tomando fotografía eh, Vamos a ver ahora acá En este cuarto Como les comento pues No hay nadie ni aquí se ve Bueno para tomar una fotografía eh, Ya les había comentado Que tengo a mi, a mi perro A mi pic pero no lo meto. As you can see, an entity was waiting behind the side of his bed, just watching Alberto. You can see its pale grey face and long dark hair. The entity lies in wait behind his bed, as if waiting for Alberto to go to sleep, so it can harm him or leech off his energy, making his health deteriorate. Maybe this will serve as a warning for those who try to mess with the paranormal, especially if it's for something selfish like attempting to gain fame and become rich. You may end up with an entity becoming attached to you. Paranormal Construction Site A man working at a construction site over in Queensland, Australia noticed some very creepy activity occurring within the building and after reading the history of the place he discovered that a little girl died here after being pushed down an elevator shaft which led him to believe that this was the cause for the paranormal activity so one day he sets up a camera and also records on his phone and this is what he captures Are you evil? Say yes or no. The evil slick the light again. Are you evil? Is that a yes or a no? If you're evil, flick the light again. Okay. After this, he left the camera filming on the tripod for a little over an hour, which at first didn't capture anything, until this happened. Objects can be seen moving around by themselves. This seems to happen quite often in construction sites and places being renovated. It's like it welcomes entities while the premises is in that state. However, real or not, I'll leave the judgment to you. Shadow behind you. The next video comes from the TikTok user Elias. Elias lives in Brazil and is currently learning to play the piano. He often records videos of himself playing so he can analyze his performance and easily improve. However, during one of these recordings, he captured something chilling.
Elias is shaken to his core when he notices a dark shadow figure standing behind him within the reflection of the TV, but quickly disappears when he turns around to look. Poltergeist at Home Coming from the YouTube channel A Market Haunting, this video shows some strange paranormal events that this man and his wife have been observing in their house for the past few days. They have no idea how or why it started, but have begun to record and document their sequence of creepy experiences. Take a look. These creepy events get more strange as one day the man noticed that even his dog was behaving in an unusual manner, as if it were afraid of something unseen. Whoa! Whoa! to go and check. Leave him up here. Come Where on. After hearing the sounds of glass shattering, the man goes to investigate, which leads him to see the kitchen that is now in a complete mess of a state. It's smashed on top of there as well. With all the odd occurrences around the house and the dog's odd behaviour, the family concluded that their house is being haunted by something. But what do you think? Is this a real haunting or just a simple ruse? Like always, you judge. Uninvited guest. The following video comes from the YouTube channel Breakman. In the video, a man was recording himself doing a little tour around an old house, so that he could show anyone who may be interested in acquiring it. However, during the tour, some creepy things occurred that left this man scratching his head as to what he just saw, since he couldn't explain it. This is what he captured. Aquí. En mi ex casa, <laughs> con los hijos del bebé subí, nomás para echarle un ojo que está todo bien, porque ya pues no han venido a entregar por ella, pero hay que llevar las llaves ya que no vienen por ellas. La cocina integral, la sala, ah, pinche puertas que diondas, la oficina y la cochera lo entregó un rato. Está. Aquí estamos la cocina de nuevo, el corredorcillo. Aquí está mi cuarto. Ahí 
ay güey, pinche puerta para esta que. Es mi puerta que. Pues qué pedo. ¿Eh? Pues no se ve nada. Bueno. Si es cama. <risas> Cuarta de los niños. Aquí es la ventanilla, los closets, aquí está el otro, el otro closet, el otro closet, sabe qué. Bueno, ahí está el cuartillo de los niños. Ah, el baño se me olvidó. Aquí está el baño. Y pues creo que es todo. As you can see, when he walks into one of the rooms, a strange and creepy looking person can be seen inside one of the open closets when there should be nobody there. And just seconds later, when he passes by again, there is no sign of anyone there. And not a single sound was made during this time. So where did this person go? The house was supposed to be locked and nobody else should be inside. However, while taking pictures of the house it also appears as though he captured this same person in the window, but didn't realize until reviewing all of this footage later on. He doesn't remember anything paranormal ever happening here before and didn't plan to post this online. This footage was meant to be shown only to potential buyers. Although this could be an easy hoax, it's also creepy to imagine if this happened to you upon going to buy a new house. That's all for today guys, but if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said, you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. See you next time guys.